All right, well, this being the first cut, uh, you have to do a plunge cut with a knife or something sharp to get you through the foam so you can insert your hot wire. So um, I got my trusty Spartan here. So I'll just do a plunge right on the inside of that line. Make sure we got it all the way through. And that's the, another spot where you kind of have to be careful because trying to push it through on that initial plunge, you'll, uh, <clears throat> you'll usually make a goofy cut. But by the time it's all said and done, you won't really notice any of that. So we're gonna go ahead and get the hot wire set up and uh, we'll go ahead and make that cut. So again, this thing's really easy. The, the wire's tied around these loops. So you just uh, loosen it up. If I can get it, let me get a tool. <clears throat> so you just take that piece off. <clears throat> Go ahead and feed your wire through the plunge. Get it back on the machine. You want to make sure you're not bending anything in any odd directions or making your cut crooked. And basically how this works is there's no heat until you pull the trigger. Uh, once you pull the trigger uh, and release it, it dissipates all that heat almost immediately. So it's like it wasn't even running. So it's a fairly safe device, even though it, it seems like you're working with exposed electricity and, and thermal energy being released. But it's really, you have to be doing something pretty stupid to burn yourself with this. So let's go ahead and start trying to make the cut. I may have to readjust the camera a little bit. And you always want to try and stay in constant motion. Starts and stops will really goof up your cuts. And you want to try and not pull it too fast because uh, you'll distort the wire and it can damage your cuts. But honestly, I've only done a few cases with the hot wire, so I'm still learning it myself. But, uh, I'm enjoying it. I think I'm getting the hang of it. So that's the one thing with uh, hobbies, I'm trying to stop myself from buying foam and inserting everything I own into a foam cutout, but it's good fun. So we're almost done with this cut. Just gotta make for that rear sight. Come back around and join our original cut. And we got it. Go ahead and remove that. Let you guys take a peek. And you see it's pretty clean. There's the only really issues are right where we plunged it. I can try and tighten that up a little bit. And that's not too bad. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half. Uh, we have the ability to move the wire on the cutter so we can make this any thickness we want. So basically what we're going to do is cut it in half, place it back in the foam, and then you have your relief cut for what you're putting in there. So pretty interesting. So I'm going to... Uh, Go ahead and cut the rest of this stuff out and I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll go ahead and make our reliefs. All right, folks, so we got everything. All right, folks, so we got everything cut out of the foam. Like I said earlier, what I'm gonna do is cut the inserts down and re-countersink them into the original pad. And what's that? once that's done, we can go ahead and do the rubber coating on it. Uh, so basically, I'm going to have to go piece by piece and figure out how far I want to sink these. Uh, that's also why I have them marked so you know which is the top so everything fits right. Uh, so with that, like say this pocket knife, which is this right here, uh, I probably only need to go about a half inch or so to get that where I need it. So 
we'll take care of that real quick and pop the inserts back in okay so right here we'll go ahead and look at that thickness and I just want this to be basically flush with the uh, with the top of the foam so we'll go ahead and just make a quick mark <clears throat> and I'll show you guys how we can set up the cutter to do what we need it to do so basically we have our mark right there we'll get our hot wire cutter get that started and what you can do at this point is loosen everything up and you can drag these down to uh, get it to the height you need so we can just go ahead and get it just about like so tighten it back up <clears throat> we're ready to make our cut so you could go either way here need a little bit more cord go ahead and hit the on button and you see it smoking you just push your foam through and you get a pretty good clean cut so we can go ahead and countersink that and give it a test fit real quick All right, so we have everything cut in. <clears throat> we have our inserts placed back in. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, remove everything and I'm gonna go out and uh, use some spray adhesive to uh, affix the cutouts back into the main sheet. That'll keep everything from moving around and then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and spray it up real quick and we're pretty close to done. Okay, so here we have the finished product. Uh, you can see the the floor is in uh, that's just a piece of balsa wood we got from a local hobby place uh, you can see where i tried to kind of match the grain going up in to kind of make it a little less obvious what's going on here um, <laughs> did realize that uh i need to sink it down a little bit more into the drawer uh, it's almost a little bit too obvious with the uh, lack of depth there but you live and learn so uh, we know what we have to do to fix that Still trying to think about what I want to do with the uh, the locking mechanism as well as an actuator uh, Just for the sake of time today. I just glued down an eyeglasses case to make it look a little bit inconspicuous uh, So you can open it up and, and see what's underneath But <clears throat> here in a second. I'll show you guys what the foam looks like once we had it all uh, rubberized and coated and uh, how everything fits in there so let me get my assistant to uh, open it up and we'll take a peek on what's going on. Ta-da! So you can see everything fits in there pretty good. Uh, for a first attempt at something, I think it uh, came out pretty good. I like it. We still have some more work to do, but we learned some things with this one. So we'll get this one fixed up the way it needs to be and, and move on to the next. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.